Hey everyone, it's Nicole from Relax Cut Glue, and this morning we are going to work on bum, ba, da, da, iCAD 2020. Today it starts, so this is my little book that I made. Um, an iCAD is an index card a day, and what that means is you just decorate one every day for 61 days, I believe it is. It's all through June and all through July, so you do one a day. You can make them any size you want. I chose to do actual index card size, so three by five inches. And I just made my own out of white cardstock. And then I just put this little ring on so I could take them out whenever I needed to use one. And then in the back here, I have some collage pieces that I did that, you know, for days where I don't really have the energy to, you know, do a full page or a full, iCAD. I can just, you know, slap a quote on here or a fussy cut image and I already have these done. And I happen to really, really like the, these pages. So I might create a couple more to throw in here. But for today, I think I'm going to, well, I know I'm going to. I'm going to do some collage with some magazine. So we'll throw this over here. iCAD 2020. Okay, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put this baby down just so I don't ruin all my, all my stuff. Okay, so do that there. I have some fussy cut images laid out on my space here. Ooh, you guys, I got these. I know this isn't about iCads, but I got these pens. Um, how many are there? Two, four, six, eight pens for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they're all different colors. So I've been using these in my um, my Happy Planner, which I started again for June, because you know, I go through my moments of using them and then I don't. And then I have just a little traveler's notebook that I made that I use to just jot things down while I'm sitting here in my room watching videos. I actually have the Jersey Crafter on right now. She's live streaming. She's working on her iCAD, so be sure to check that out. I had to mute her though because I couldn't take it anymore and I wanted to work on mine. So I decided to start with this magazine image that I found and then what I'm going to do is glue her down on here and get most of the flowers because I really like those. And then I found these glasses that I cut out the there were sunglasses so I cut out the middle part and I'm gonna put these big old sunglasses on her like that and then with the sunglasses on the inside I have this turtle and the scuba diver that I just harvested yesterday I think out of a magazine so I was gonna put the turtle on one side how do I know? anyways and the little scuba diver on the other like you know, like her inside is the ocean. Okay, so that's that's my plan so far. And then just as I've been um, fussy cutting and stuff lately, I've been cutting out all these little quotes that I find in, or sentences and stuff that I find um, in magazines. I mean, I have a whole box of them over here, but just, just some that I can keep right here that I can shuffle through for my iCads. Oh, my husband's home. Okay, so let's get to gluing, ooh, get to gluing her down first. So let's see, oh good, I can see through. I think I'm going to put it about right here. I know you guys can't see where that is, but you'll see in a second. Okay, let's do that. And I think what I'll do is, I keep saying that, I think what I'll do I'm going to glue just on the card. So let me know in the comments if you're going to be doing iCADs. If you do, um, oh shoot, what is her name? Uh, I will put in the description box the hashtag of the person that's hosting the iCAD so that if you post them on, or or you could go to my Instagram too. Um, you put in hashtag DY 
ICAD 2020. Is that what you put? I don't know. I'll figure it out, guys. I, I'm having a little brain fart right now. When I get put on the spot, I can't think. Plus, I'm kind of having a little bit of a rough morning, so it makes me not be able to concentrate very well. Okay, so I had that little line right there. So, and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It was just kind of a rough idea here. So let's do that. And then where is my bone folder? I just had it. Hello, earth to bone folder. Okay, well, I guess I'm not using my bone folder. Um, that's scary. Where is it? Well, it's not scary, but okay. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to use my baby napkin. I feel like a little bump right here. Okay. <laughs> or not napkin, washcloth. And I am struggling today, guys. I'm just, ugh, rough day. Okay. Let's cut her out. And then I'll save the rest of the flowers for collage. How did the back of my card get so dirty all of a sudden? I must have paint on this thing. Okay. So the rest of this I will use in my, just toss in my collage bucket. Put those in there. I always keep that to my left. What do we have going on? Bubbling, we will have no bubbling. Let's smooth this baby out. Smooth it out, smooth it out, especially around those edges. This is a no bubbly zone. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now I need to work on my glasses. So I think I will put the little turtle like that going that way and then the scuba divers going the other way. That's kind of funny. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I think I'm just going to glue I'm just gonna glue on or should I have them going towards each other do I have them going towards each other or going the opposite probably towards each other right yeah I probably should okay so what I'm gonna do is just glue along the edge I have to be very delicate because I don't want to rip the glasses. Okay. Eh. All right, let's put Mr. Turtle in there. And, oh gosh, this is not easy. Okay. There we go there. Okay, so now I just need to, now I'm just going to have to fussy cut, oh, here, let me just cut this out first. We'll just cut that little guy out first, okay, and then let's glue Mr. Snorkeler, scuba, or not snorkeler, scuba diver. There is a difference. My dad loves to scuba dive and snorkel. He's even done it in Australia. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and he's really into photography, so we got some really, really great images. Okay, let's.
get that down. Oops. Excuse the bumping sound you hear. My husband's emptying the dishwasher and the kitchen shares a wall with my craft room. Okay. So now I just need to cut that out. Oh, this is quite the process. Okay, so we got those. Now we need to fussy cut around the glasses. The one good thing about this is it gives it a little bit more stability. Not much, but a little bit. Sorry guys, it's gonna take just a little second because I'm nerdy about making sure my lines are kind of perfect. It's funny, I can't see Jersey talking on her thing right now, but I, or I mean, I can see her, but I can't hear her, but all I see are her hands just moving. <laughs> She's probably going, people, people. Listen, this is not a tutorial. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. It's not perfect. That's okay. It's okay. That's, oh. <laughs> As I say that. This corner isn't as rounded as the other one, and I need to round that. There we go. Okay, so got that done. So here's the card. So I thought this would look kind of funny like that. Okay. Ooh, this is getting fun now. It's getting fun in here. Okay. A little glue. on the sassy lady get my little baby washcloth and smush gently a gentle smush there we go nice gentle smush so there we go she's looking pretty cool Okay, what else do I want to do? I did cut out these little lips. Oops. But I'm not really sold on it. I think I'll just leave, leave hers the way they are. And let's see what kind of quotes I have. I'm gonna, going kind of easy today because, like I said, I'm kind of having a rough day. Ooh, I could do something like this. What's the hurry? What else do I have? I have inhale, exhale, if you forgot how to breathe. <laughs> if you can imagine it, you can make it. That doesn't go with that. That doesn't work. This one goes on this side, but it says, hello, I need a break, said every mother always let's see how far will you take it kind of like that how far will you take it man so far I like these two what else do I have domestic art dream that's so generic I need to put my cap on what else do I have um fire it up established in 1916 she ages well. Slumber party, anyone? Um, let's see. Good morning, sunshine. That one's kind of cute. 
just breathe. Again, if you don't know how to breathe. Play like a kid. A star was born. Oh, that one's kind of cute for that. Okay, I'm getting rid of Good Morning Sunshine. Fire it up. I don't want how far we would take it. I have a star was born. Maybe I do like established 1916. A star was born. I also have be your own advocate. This one that says finding health and happiness in a changing world, which I kind of thought I was going to cut out and do finding happiness. I was going to cut out health and and, and then do finding happiness in a changing world. So I kind of like that too. Let's see how that would look. Oh, use these scissors. Finding. I don't want to cut out the eye there. Let's get rid of that. And that. And that. We've got finding. Oh, my hand's shaking. Ooh. I hate it when my hands shake. Finding happiness. Now I have to cut around that. Finding happiness. Oops. Finding stay. Oh, maybe I could just go up here. Finding happiness. In a happiness in a changing world hmm I like it but just not for that one I like this one a star was born she looks very bougie fired up or I could do established 1916, a star was born. Wonder if I should do that. Doesn't really match. Does it matter? Where's my little hole? It's right here. I'm gonna cut that little hole in first so I know. Jeez, people flying down the street today. There we go. Okay. Maybe I'll just put I don't need that. Okay. I feel like I need something else. What else could I put? A star was born. I wonder if I should put something behind it. What could I put behind it? Let's see. I don't know why I like this established in 1916 so much. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Okay. 
I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm going to make it official. The star was officially born. Let's go like that. Ooh, didn't like that sound. Is it straight? Yeah, okay. What's the hurry a star was born? Do I like that? I don't know if I like it. Uh, let's see, what else did I have? Um, I have more words right here, so let's look. Let's move that cap on. It's really bad habit of just walking out of my room with um, my cap not on. Let's see. Feeling green. That's not going to work. What's this? Let's talk it out. No. Nope. You're unstoppable. No. Too big. What's this one say? In the mood. Maybe I could put that. Like she's in the... She's in the mood for being a star. <laughs> Put a ring on it. Let's see, what else fun do I have? Put a cork in it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see. Summertime, blah, blah, blah. So this one be totally ready. Low and slow, no, no, no. What else? Cool intentions. One of a kind. That is a good one. I'm gonna keep that one out. For another one. Let's see. Plot twist. <laughs> I'm just going to put that. That's kind of funny. I've had it for a while, so I'm just going to use it. In the mood, I'm going to keep out too. I'll probably go through here later and take out a few more extra things. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it. Boop. And... I'm going to put this right here, like that. And like that. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to get my ink. Okay, I used to, I'm not even going to lie. This used to annoy me so much when people would sit there and ink the edges of their work. I hated it. Hated it, hated it, hated it. Then I started doing it and honestly, <laughs> I don't feel like anything is complete unless it's inked around the edges at all. So, excuse my few seconds to ink. And I take back all my little annoying thoughts about you people inking. All you YouTubers that I watched. I never said anything. I mean, I mean, it didn't really irritate me, don't get me wrong. It was just like, if you're doing this big long project and you're having to ink every tiny little piece for the whole entire time, it just got annoying over time, which would still annoy me, but I get it. I get this up. I don't like it. And she goes back for more. Okay, guys. There it is. Plot twist. A star was born. I'm going to let this dry for a minute and then I'm going to throw it in my iCAD 2020 book and put a fork in it, baby. It's done. Thanks, guys, for crafting with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you get 
started on an iCAD today, let me know. I want to see it because I love to see everybody's designs and everybody's style. Everybody's so creative and does things their own way, and I can't wait to see all of it. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.